Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of... The Space Patrol! Evacuate all inhabitants from the path of destruction. We're changing course to investigate at once. Corey out. It's extremely unlikely that a sun could focus its rays into a mile-wide area. But smoke and rockets, Commander, if it's not a sun, what else could be that, that hot? How hot enough to actually start a fire? Stand by for exciting action on the mystery of Planet X in just one moment. Average peaceful day on Terra, seat of the democratic system of government representing the nine planets of the solar system. And then, with the fury and violence of a cosmic explosion. Yes, what I want is data, mass, distance, speed, the facts. Get them as quickly as you can. Right. Then according here. No, no, positively not. No one's been authorized to even venture near it. Oh, you better get out this all-points bullet won't have right away. Turn on your recorder. Here it is. Attention all planets, space patrol units, and all ships in space. Interplanetary flight is restricted to the system within the boundary established by the orbit of Pluto. Corey. Good work. Let's have it. Yes? Yes. you say? Well, don't take your eyes off that planet. Watch it for any shifting from its orbit. And keep you informed. Corey out. Got your stuff. You should. Is it true, sir, about the new planet? I'll say it's true. Where is it now? It's attached itself to the outer edge of our system. They said it was big, bigger than any of our planets. And they were right. Half hold of this. What is it, sir? Data on the new planet. Go get that, will you, Robbie? Oh, yes, sir. And Corey's off it. Hello, it's Major Robert. Oh, yeah, let's fall through. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Look at rockets, Commander. That's Planet X? Yes, sir, right away. Hey, Major, look at this. It's a giant. It has a mass 15 times greater than that of Jupiter. And, and Jupiter's bigger than all the rest of the planets in the system put together. Right, half that makes Planet X 5,000 times bigger than Earth. 5,000 times? It's approximately 1 billion miles beyond the orbit of Pluto. It still revolves around our sun, captured by our system. From the side of it, I'd say our system was captured, but... Oh, I got so interested I forgot the Secretary General's on the phone. The Secretary General? Let the coin here. Go ahead, Race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Someone's got to stay here to take messages at all times. Robbie, that's you. Yes, sir. Happy? Yes, sir. You come with me. Yes, sir. Where to, sir? The Secretary General is ordered me to investigate Planet X. Information, the 61 Cygni system, the constellation of Cygnus. As big as Planet X? Oh, even stranger than that, Happy. Exactly the same dimensions. Commander Corey from Major Roberts. Yes, Robbie. Commander, what's going on? First a new planet invades our system and now a sun. What? Yeah, a baby sun inside our system. How could it get into our system without being seen? It has been seen from Earth. But we're close to Earth right now. I don't see any sun but our own. Reports are verified, sir. I've checked them. Only from the dimensions and behavior, it doesn't match any sun I've ever seen. Well, what do you mean? 
Well, the only place the heat is felt is on Earth. Burning a path a mile wide at the rate of a thousand miles an hour. Burning? Are you sure? Well, there's no doubt about it. I have a picture of it on the video scope right now. Video report from the scene. Buildings are bursting into flame. Did you say it was burning a path a mile wide at a thousand miles an hour? That's right, sir. Robbie, order a disaster alert. Evacuate all inhabitants from the path of destruction. We're changing course to investigate at once. Corey out. Extremely unlikely that the sun could focus its rays and concentrate on a mile wide area. We have to smoke the rockets, man. If it's not a sun, what else could be hot enough to actually start all those fires? A solar mirror. A giant solar mirror. Focusing our own sun's rays into a narrow beam, burning a path across the face of the Earth as it rotates on its axis at a speed of a thousand miles an hour. Well, the rockets, that's right. The Earth does rotate at a thousand miles per hour. I'm convinced there's some connection between this solar mirror, whatever it is, and that mysterious appearance of Planet X. Yes, Buzz Corey, there is a connection between the giant solar mirror and Planet X. A connection that would astound even you. But immediate disaster has called you to duty. Leaving the mysterious giant uninvestigated and alone. Alone to follow its slow but steady path of encirclement around the United Planets. Its monstrous bulk overshadowing the infinitely smaller bodies of the solar system as a giant vulture hovers over its prey. Yes, Commander Corey, even you would find it hard to believe the mysterious wonders that unfold beneath the steaming, swirling vapor that enshrouds the expansive surface. Raw, prehistoric vegetation, immense jungles, trees massive in size, yet dwarfed by enormous bellowing beasts. And out of this vast, uncivilized wilderness, rises a great rocky spire, penetrating the eternal mist, towering thousands of feet in the air to hold on its blunt point the most amazing sight of all, a castle, a huge, rambling, mysterious castle. Yes, Commander Corey, there is a connection between the solar mirror for which you are even now searching and Planet X. If you but knew it, all the answers to your questions are contained inside this castle. I have returned. Dr. Gruber, if I had not been aware of your approach, you could have never landed your ship through my defenses. Oh, uh, oh yes, of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> I left my laboratory assistant, Savant, in the ship. As you instructed. He doesn't know who you are. Why have you returned, Dr. Gruber? Why, I, I enlarged the mirror, placed it in an orbit to reflect the sun's rays on Earth. Mm. Why did you not stay in place to place the second mirror? Why, the first was so effective, I, I decided the second one would not be necessary. Who decided? I'm the one to decide. I, Prince Baccarat, to give the orders and no one else. You are here to take my orders of the Black Spartan. Do you understand? I was hired as a scientist, not to be your slave. I beg to remind you, Dr. Gruber, you are but a renegade scientist, sought by the Space Patrol, unable to show your face anywhere in the United Planet. Where else would you employ your talent? Why are you dead? A little device of my own invention, Doctor. Hereafter, you are powerless. You will remember nothing of our association. 
not even my name. You will only know that you are obedient to your master. Do you understand? Yes, master. I understand. All right. Here are your instructions. You will use the atom extender and place it on the second mirror. Placed in an orbit so its reflected beams will fall on the planet Terra. What the capital city? Terra city itself directly in the path of destruction. And then they will bargain with me. And you will bring the representative of the United Planets to meet with your master. Bring him here. Bring Commander Corey to your master. Unharmed! Craft, but get those people out of the area. You won't have much time. It's traveling at the rate of a thousand miles per hour. Ah. Major Robertson to Commander Corey aboard Terra 5. Oh, hold it, Robbie. We're approaching it now. It's a solar mirror, all right. And a big one. Smoking rockets, Commander. According to the, the, the view scope here, it's over 100 miles in diameter. Over 100 miles in diameter, Robbie. Better blast it quick, sir. The situation on Earth is getting desperate. They can't get that fire under control. We'll do the best we can. Corey out. Open rockets, look at the size of that thing. Find the cosmic missile. We'll detonate on contact. Yes, sir. Commander, jammed. What are we going to do? Lay on half a ram it. Ram it? Yes, sir. Here we go. without causing any damage. Reach for the sky. Come on, this is Space Patroller Jack Norris, and I got you covered with a cosmic smoke gun. Okay, gang, drop your dukes. I'm only kidding. Don't reach for the sky. Reach for rice checks and wheat checks. Because they're the breakfast cereals you got to buy to get a cosmic smoke gun like this for your very own. And boy, is this gun ever different. Watch her in action. That's a puff of cosmic smoke, gang. Yes, there's nothing old-fashioned about this gun, not with cosmic smoke shooting out of it like this. Say, remember how this gun got the commander out of a jam not long ago? You bet. This gun does things that an old-fashioned gun could never do. That's why it's so much fun to have a cosmic smoke gun when you're playing Space Patrol. Now... Take a closer look at the Space Patrol Cosmic Smoke Gun. Like the way it nestles in my hand? Well, it'll fit nice and easy in your hand, too. And man, is it ever built. It's made of real hard plastic and made real good. The color? Rocket Fire Red. Now, your gun comes to you loaded, and with it, you get this. A bag of reloading powder, enough to last you a long time. And tell Mom this. The powder is guaranteed harmless. Now, to get a gun, get a box of bite-sized rice checks or wheat checks, the new shredded Ralston. Along with your name and address, send 25 cents in coin and a rice checks or wheat checks box top to Cosmic Smoke Gun, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. I repeat, send 25 cents in coin and a rice checks or wheat checks box top to Cosmic Smoke Gun, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. This offer good only in continental United States and may be withdrawn at any time. Back to Space Patrol.
your friend in the castle must also be accomplished in the sciences to conceive the atomic expander. Who is he? What's his name? Do not ask questions, Savant. Go below. Get the atomic expander. We must enlarge the mirror to the same dimension. 100 miles diameter. Extremely tenuous. Some ray must have used order to spread the molecules apart. I guess the mirror was no more than a few feet across originally, was expanded to a diameter of 100 miles, and yet it retains its reflective powers. I'll say it does. Fires on Earth are spreading, raging out of control. I got a fix coming of the priming mechanism was jammed. We're going to try a missile, Robbie. Call you later. Dr. Gruber, I'm ready to apply the expander. Good. Turn it on and direct it toward the mirror. everything we can. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, we're doing everything we can. We're doing everything we... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, sir, we, we're doing everything we can, Mr. Secretary General. Fire five. Prime six. Prime six. It's the last one, sir. Fire six. Fire six. Six cosmic missiles. Every one of them a bullseye, and the hole just closed right up again. Only Commander Corey aboard Terra Five. This is Manicori, go ahead. You have failed to destroy the mirror. It is time for you to bargain or see your planet destroyed one by one. What did you say? Who is this? These are your instructions. Instructions? You will jump overboard in a space suit. After which, your ship must return to Terra. This done, you will be picked up in a space. Yes, and what then? I must take you to my master. All right, mister, you've got yourself a deal. Happy take over. Well, yes, wait a minute, Commander. You're, you're not going to do it, are you? It's a trap. What trap? What about those people on Earth? They're in a trap, too. Yes, sir. Well, you want me to stick around, sir, and just pretend like I'm going back to Terra? No, happy you head for Terra. They're probably watching every movie we make. Report to Robbie. Oh, gee, Commander, I hate to leave you in a spot like this. Open rockets. Commander, floating out there in space all alone. Yeah, I hope they don't decide to take a pot shot at him. would be destroyed. One by one. Ah, you better stick here by the space zone. See you later. Yes, sir. I didn't expect to find you here, Dr. Grover. I must take you to my master. You yes, this is... Hold it, What's the matter with you? You know what's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong. No, no. Look at his eyes. The way he talks. Dr. Grover, did you invent the instrument to expand the mirror? The second mirror is placed on an orbit to reflect its beam on Terra. What did you say? 
auditorium of shoot. No, Savan. I must return him to the master unharmed. Unharmed? Now that's different. Stand back, Corey. I'm going to take that gun away from you. Stand back, Ross. Shoot. No, no, Savan. He's trying to trick us, Doctor. I must take him to the master. Not right now. All right, down that ladder, both of you. On the double. I must take him to the master. Right in here, Major. Commander. Yes, I'm all right. Now listen carefully. Terra is next from the list. You may be getting report to fires any minute. Evacuate Terra City immediately. Yes. In the meantime, I think I know a way to destroy the mirrors with the same instrument they use. I'll train it on the mirror again with any luck it may enlarge it until it dissipates into harmless scattered molecules. I'll use it on the mirror which is directed at Earth right now. Report back. Hurry up. Smoking rockets. Smoking rockets is right. Major Robertson here, go ahead. Major Robertson, a new fire has just been reported. A new one? Yes, sir, but this time it's on Terra. All ready? To Commander Corey. Can you read me, sir? Miss Happy, what is it? Commander, you were right about Terra being next. It's happening already. Uh, Terra City will be in flames in a matter of minutes. Well, don't give up, Hap. The instruments work. The Earth's mirror is destroyed. Well, it's great, sir, but hurry. We, we can't hold out much longer here. I'm blasting off to locate the Terra mirror right away. Corey out. We've got to check it out till every last person's evacuated. Yes, sir. breaking out at the edge of the city. Yeah. Yeah, but Major, they're... That's flash. That's flash. <laughs> all right, Pop. I'll go back to you to the last person. Oh, that's great, Major. Come on, let's get out of here and make it a perfect score. Wait a minute, Pop. Commander's still out there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I guess we'd better stand by. shall destroy you. That said a guy from our wanted files was behind this, uh, Dr. Gruber. Oh, not behind it, Robbie. He was just a pawn. Yeah, who's he working for? Well, he couldn't tell me. He was under some strange power that blanked out his mind. But his, his lab assistant, Savant, told me something. Well, did he tell you who was responsible for all this? No, but he told me where he lives. In a castle on a rocky spire on planet X. <laughs> Mind you, boys and girls, this is the gun for me, the Space Patrol Cosmic Smoke Gun, the gun that saved my life not so long ago, remember? Yes, sir, I like a modern super weapon that shoots like this. Now, I thought you'd like to have a gun just like mine, so I've asked Jack Nars to tell you once again how to get one. Here's all you do to get a Cosmic Smoke Gun and a bag of reloading powder. Buy a box of bite-sized rice checks or wheat checks. Along with your name and address, send 25 cents in coin and a rice checks or wheat checks box top to Cosmic Smoke Gun, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. Don't forget 25 cents and your box top to Cosmic Smoke Gun, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri.